Well, we will uh, get started now. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to join us for our webinar on ISAN Pro Cruises Shore Excursions. Um, today, we are being joined by Henry Gade Lenz from ISAN Pro Cruises, who's going to give us a bit of a um, highlight the most popular shore excursions uh, that you can do uh, when on an ISAN Pro Cruises cruise. Before we uh, get into that, though, I am going to take a quick minute to introduce our portfolio to you. So since we're talking about ISAN Pro Cruises today, I'm going to introduce our Europe portfolio. So starting with um, Iceland, we have Hotel Island, who, which is a hotel located in Reykjavik, ISAN Pro Cruises, who we, who we will hear more about from today. ISAN Pro Travel, it's our DMC partner who can organize anything on ground for you in Iceland. And then last but not least, we also have Pax More Greece, who is a boutique DMC in Greece, can help with anything um, that you need there. Oh. Um, sorry, I just saw that there is a note that I might be a little choppy, so I'm just going to readjust something, see if that's a little better. Hopefully the sound is all right for everybody. Um, and today we are going to do something uh, a little bit different. So I did want to tell everybody prior to the webinar actually starting, because I did not announce this in the, the invitation, etc., to today's webinar, but we will be giving away a free Iceland Pro Cruises expedition jacket at the end of today's webinar. So please make sure that you are uh, following along and paying attention. We will be asking um, one or two questions at the end of the webinar, and the first person to type those through are, is going to uh, win an Iceland Pro Cruises expedition jacket. So please make sure that you're paying attention throughout today's webinar. We will be asking you um, a question at the end of today's webinar in order to win your very own free expedition jacket. So um, make sure you are following along for that. Of course, this webinar is being recorded. So if you do need to um, answer a call, step away at any moment throughout today's uh, presentation, don't worry, I will be sending the recording to everybody in the webinar follow-up. Although please keep in mind that if you are not paying attention for a moment, you might miss the answer to um, our giveaway question. So, uh, do, do your best on that. Um, and as always, all of our webinars are posted to our Emerging Destinations YouTube channel and our Emerging Destinations website as well. So any pre-recorded webinars that you would like to uh, listen to or go back and revisit, you can do so there. Also, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions about any of our other um, accounts that you see on your screen here. I kind of jumped through that. I got so excited about talking about the giveaway for today. So if you do have any questions about any of the other um, accounts that you see there up on your screen, please feel free to reach out to me. We also, as you can see, have an extensive um, African portfolio and South American portfolio. So I don't want to um, go by those too quickly. So if you do have questions there, if you want to digital brochures, marketing materials. Uh, we can always organize a training for you and your team. So please feel free to reach out if any of that sounds of interest to you. So I think that covers everything that I needed to um, for today. Uh, also, if you have any comments throughout today's presentation, uh, you feel free to type those through. Um, Enrique, unfortunately, will not be able to stay, stick around for the live Q&A at the end, but we will make sure to answer as many of those questions uh, for you as possible, and we will make sure that they're also answered and included to you in our webinar follow-up, So, which we'll hopefully get to you later this week. Um, on that note, though, I will uh, hand things over to Enrique, so make sure you're paying attention for that um, giveaway at the end. But uh, here we go, Henrique Lenz, who will be talking to you about Ice on Pro Cruises shore excursions today. Thank you, Jenner, and welcome to our webinar. My name is Henrique, and I'm working at the Ice on Pro Cruises sales office in Hamburg, Germany. Today's topic are our shore excursions in Iceland, and I would also like to introduce to you our new ship, the Sea Venture. Our main product is the 10-day Iceland circumnavigation. All our cruises start and end in Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland. We visit 10 harbors in 10 days, which means there are no days at sea. The ship usually docks at the pier from morning to evening, which gives your guests enough time to explore the surroundings on their own 
or to go on one of the upper shore excursions that I'm going to present to you today. During these cruises, we try to bring the spirit of Iceland on board. Our expedition team members are mostly locals who speak, of course, English, and we have Icelandic food and entertainment on board. We call our product a soft expedition because it's a mix of a classical cruise and an expedition cruise. Some information on what is always included in the cruise price when you book with Iceland Pro Cruises. Of course, accommodation in the booked cabin categories, all meals on board, including coffee, tea and water, which is available all day round, the Zodiac excursions, all kind of entertainment on board, which means uh, English speaking guiding and presentations and lectures. As just mentioned, Zodiac excursions are always included in the price. Zodiacs are the rubber boats that you can see in the picture above. They are used for shorter tours to explore the surroundings, for example, going bird watching or exploring a fjord area. And in Greenland, we also need the Zodiacs to go ashore. But coming to the topic of today's webinar, we offer a wide range of shore excursions in every harbor that can be booked either in advance or on board. We try to offer at least three excursions in every harbor, and we try to have a mix of more active tours like hiking or kayaking, and for example, bus tours for those who can't or who don't want to walk longer distances. I'm going to present to you a selection of shore excursions in each harbor we are going to visit on our 10-day Iceland circumnavigation. Our first stop on our cruise is Stykkisonur on the Snæfellsnes Peninsula. This 55 miles long peninsula comprises a world of diversity. Here you can find friendly towns and villages, spectacular mountains, a multitude of bird species nesting on cliffs, and beaches of black sand. On this shore excursion onto the top of the Snæfellsjökull glacier, an experienced guide will drive your guests up by a snowcat, and in good weather conditions, guests can enjoy a fantastic view over the peninsula. And on especially clear days, guests might even spot the far off West Fjords that will be our next stop on this cruise. Another popular excursion on this is this unique tour to get a better insight of Iceland's volcano and lava world. It's called Journey to the Center of the Earth because the Snæfellsjökull Glacier was actually the setting for Jules Verne's novel Center to the Earth. Journey to the center of the earth, my apologies. <laughs> well, on this excursion, guests will experience fascinating rock formations, amazing geology and colorful volcanic rocks while they climb up a non-active crater and explore Iceland's underworld during a guided tour through one of Iceland's most spectacular lava caves. This is an 8,000 year old natural wonder. Our next stop is Isafjörd, located in the remote West Fjords. The area is known for its breathtaking rough nature, high summits and beautiful deep fjords. On the excursion called It's a Viking Thing, guests will take a journey to another place in time. They will learn about traditions of the Vikings that still echo in the lives of the Icelanders. The tour starts with a drive to the village of Thingiri, often called the Viking village. Here guests can see the ruins of the old Viking thing, the parliament of the Viking period, and visit the Viking center. They even get the opportunity to dressing up in authentic handmade clothing, bake some Viking bread on an open fire, and cheer with some old style beer. Another popular excursion is the tour to Dinyandi waterfall. The magnific magnificent waterfall is the highest and most impressive in the West Fjords region. Another highlight on the tour are the breathtaking rough nature, high summits and beautiful deep fjords of this region. From here, we continue our journey to the harbor of Stiglefjord, our first stop in the north of Iceland. 
guests will dive into the golden age of the herring boom at the award-winning herring museum. The highlight is the live herring salting demonstration with traditional songs and dances performed by the local herring girls. Husavik is Europe's whale watching capital and we are going to stay here for two days, so it's an overnight stay. The town's offshore waters are home to 15 different whale species, as well as dolphins and many kinds of birds. On our whale watching tour, guests will get the opportunity to spot a lot of puffins or other kinds of birds and whales, and the chances for whale spotting are at 99% here in Husavik. A number of Iceland's highlights are included in this excursion called the Diamond Circle. Guests will travel alongside a glacial canyon to Jodaklettar, the echoing cliffs. They are world known for their basalt columns that characterize the ancient lava flow. Another highlight is Detifoss waterfall. A mass of water, mud and sand rumbles into Iceland's most impressive canyon. On day two in Husavik, one of the excursion is a bus tour to explore the beautiful area around Lake Nyvatn. Highlights on this tour are impressive black rock formations, the spectacular Gudafoss waterfall, the pseudo craters of Lake Nyvatn that you can see in the picture, and a thousing bath at Nyvatn Nature Bath at the end of this exciting day. First stop in the east of Iceland is Seydisfjordur. East Island is dominated by narrow fjords, rocked mountains, remote homesteads and historic fishing villages. One of the most popular tours of the whole cruise is of course horseback riding. The history of the Icelandic horse reaches back to the 9th and 10th centuries. Nowadays, there are approximately 65,000 Icelandic horses in Iceland. The two-hour tour offers a wonderful way to appreciate the beauty of the coast and nearby mountains, as well as endless opportunities to spot seals and birds. Your guests can also enjoy a beautiful hike amongst the mountains of Seydisfjord. They will experience amazing views over the Seydisfjord barrier, the valley and the town, while walking their way up into and along the mountains. Our next stop is Djupivogur, a small coastal village located by the picturesque fjord of Pambasjör. One of the highlights is of course the super jeep tour. Guests can enjoy a super jeep drive to the hidden gems of nature that can be discovered in Vatnajökull National Park. They will not only cross glacier rivers, but drive through spectacular mountain scenery and visit canyons and waterfalls. Another highlight is a kayaking excursion in the fjord. Guests will enjoy the silence and the beautiful views while sliding through the impressive fjord landscape. They might even spot some whales over here. And one of the most famous sites in Iceland can of course not be missed on this cruise, the Glacier Lagoon and Diamond Beach. Huge blocks of ice constantly break off the glacier and lie up large icebergs float in the lagoon that you can see on the picture. Guests will sail among the huge icebergs with a specially equipped boat. The last harbour on our round trip are the Westman Islands, or Westmanaeja in Icelandic. In 1973, what seemed to be impossible happened. A volcanic eruption started on Westman Islands. The locals were safe and shipped away, but the eruption lasted for months, covering half of the town or half of the island in rocks and lava. The bus tour Pompeii of the North brings the guests around Heimei Island and to the volcanic crater and half-buried houses. The tour ends at the Volcanic Center, a unique museum that tells the story of the eruption and the geology of the Westman Islands. 
Another option here on Westman Islands is a one-hour guided quad tour that will give guests the opportunity to ride through stunning lava fields while experiencing a real off-road feeling. And this was our last stop on our Iceland circumnavigation. Now we are going back to Reykjavik. From Reykjavik are many excursions available to explore the fantastic sites and places in Iceland that are not part of the cruise. Reykjavik itself is a modern, trendy and forward-looking city, whilst at the same time being close to Iceland's unspoiled nature. I will now present a couple of typical day excursions that can be booked as a pre or post tour together with the cruise. But just keep in mind, there are many, many more options. On the Golden Circle Tour, guests can walk around the world famous Geysir geothermal area. Here, hot springs are in abundance, geysers explode, and pools of mud bubble. One of the Golden Circle's many highlights is the Gulfos waterfall, the queen of Iceland's waterfalls. The tour ends at Thingvellir National Park. This is the original site of the oldest existing parliament in the world. Next tour, or another wonderful and extraordinary place, is the Blue Lagoon. It is very close to Reykjavik, can be easily reached by bus, and it is one of Iceland's most famous tourist attractions, and considered by many to be a once-in-a-lifetime experience, as well as an unmissable part for one's visit to Iceland. Guests can also visit the inside of a volcano, Visitors descend into a 4,000-year-old dormant volcano via an open elevator 400 feet into a magma chamber once filled with glowing hot lava. It is truly a magical and outerworldly experience. Since we are the Iceland experts, we can of course also arrange all kinds of individual tours and excursions and give ideas for extensions for your guests' stay. Also, day tours or rental car tours lasting several days can be arranged. Last but not least, I would like to have a look at next year, 2023, with you. In 2023, we will offer all our cruises with our new ship, the Sea Venture. The ship was built in 1990 and was operating under the name of Bremen for a German cruise company until 2020 when it was sold. The ship has been renovated after being sold. It's a four star plus ship with space for approximately 160 passengers. The Sea Venture was specifically designed to visit secluded areas in Antarctica and in the Arctic and has the highest ice class for passenger ships. Let's have a look around the ship. So what you can see here is the Lido deck with a heated saltwater pool. There's also a small sauna and a spa on board. And this is the restaurant. It's big enough to host all guests at the same time, and there will only be one seating when there is no pandemic going on. We offer international cuisine on board and also a daily selection of Icelandic dishes. This is the club lounge hosting a small bar and we offer entertainment here in the evening. As I said in the beginning, we really try to bring Iceland on board. So there are some local musicians that will join the cruise uh, or visit in one of the harbors. Our expedition gu guides will um, give lectures on Icelandic topics, maybe even give you a little language course. There's also a theater style lounge on board where we offer lectures and movies. The Sea Venture has seven different cabin categories and all cabins are outside cabins. Here you can see a cabin category one. It's on the lowest passenger deck with port holes. All cabins on deck six and seven have a balcony. Um, as you can see in the picture, the furnishing is quite similar to the cabin in category one. 
it's mostly the cabin's location and the view that changes. On deck seven, we have two balcony suites. All right, so this was all information I wanted to give you today. You can find my contact details here in case you have any further questions or any booking requests. Thank you so much for listening and we are looking forward to welcoming you and your guests in Iceland. Okay, so thank you Henrique for that presentation. I hope everyone was um, paying attention. I know that there was a couple of people that were having issues hearing, so hopefully that doesn't um, didn't stop you from finding out the answer to our first question. So I have uh, my colleague Jesse, who's going to be uh, joining me as well, just to keep an eye on the questions box where you will be um, typing through the the answer after I ask your questions. So um, everyone should have the go to webinar control panel on the right hand side of your screen there's going to be a questions tab so if you want to go ahead and get that questions tab open and get um, so that you are ready to type through the answer we will be giving away two jackets today so the first person to type through the answer uh, will win the first one and my colleague as i mentioned jesse is here to uh, monitor that for me okay so the first question everyone hopefully everyone's ready to go what is the name of our new ship all, all right, right. Jenna. yeah people are so so quick <laughs> um the first person i know all of you are typing through but the first person to come through with the correct answer was sue fleming congratulations sue um that is jacket number one i will be in touch with you to um, get a mailing address etc for that so um please be expecting to hear from me all right now everyone had a little bit of a warm-up we have uh jacket number two this is a little bit harder of a question so hopefully everyone was able to um pick up on the answer in henrique's presentation uh question number two which port is europe's whale watching capital it's located in iceland there we go. Wow, I'm so impressed with people typing yeah. through so quickly. I, I wouldn't know. even be able to type that fast. Uh, Miguel Aguirre was the first person to type through Husevik, which is the correct answer. Europe's whale watching okay. capital of the world. So congratulations to you as, Mel, as well, Miguel. Um, I will be in touch with you to uh, get your um, mailing address for that. And just so everyone's aware on all of um, our upcoming Iceland Pro Cruises, webinars we will be giving away additional jackets so if you didn't get yours today um, please be uh, stay tuned for our next Iceland Pro Cruises webinar where you will have a chance um, to win one for yourself so now that everyone's practiced typing through those answers did anybody have any questions for us I did just also want to um, make a note that for any um, COVID updates, Icelandic um, entry protocols, et cetera, you can um, visit www.covid.is for the latest details on um, entry protocols, et cetera, into Iceland. So if anybody does have questions about that, you can make sure to visit their website. I will make sure to also include that link um, in our webinar follow-up for you as well. So if I um, rattled it off too quickly there, make, uh, please note that I will make sure to include it in the webinar follow-up. So unless anybody has any last minute questions, we will um, end there for today. Nice, uh, short, simple, and sweet for you. Um, thanks so much for joining our webinar and I look forward to the next one with you. Thanks again and have a fantastic Tuesday.